Halloween GMS. I'm Christian. And I'm Sophia. Let's get started with the news. Trick-or-treating in Greenwood is tonight, Tuesday, October 31st, from 6 to 8.30 p.m. If you are out trick-or-treating or escorting a sibling, please be safe and have fun. The 8th graders are going to the IRT on Thursday, November 16th. If you have any questions, you can email Mr. Ellington or Mr. Reinhardt. The permission slips and money were due last Friday. Thanksgiving break is right around the corner. Thanksgiving break takes place from Monday, November 20th until Friday, November 24th. What are your plans for Thanksgiving break? Now it's time to head over to our GMS Pet of the Week. Good morning, GMS. I'm Aiden, and I have this week's Pet of the Week. Hi, I'm Aiden Nostanza. I'm a sixth grader here at GMS. I have the pet of the week. Last year for Christmas, we adopted two kittens from a shelter. One was a boy, we named him Boomer. The other was a girl, we, we named Sasha. Boomer is yellow and white and is pretty big for a one-year-old cat. Sasha has lots of colors in her fur and it's kind of pretty. At night, they get crazy. They love to chase each other around the house. They get the zoomies. Usually it's Boomer doing the chasing because he's just like that. He can be very a very pushy guy. He also is very friendly. I think he loves me the most. He cuddles with me most nights with me in bed. When I go outside, he sits at the door and cries for me to come back in. Sasha is the quiet one. She usually isn't too far away because she also likes her pets and cuddles. I... I... I just has to be when she tells you it's allowed. She is very independent. These are my pet the these are my pets of the week. Hope you enjoyed learning a bit about them. Hello, welcome to Trending and Entertainment News. Where we share weird things in all in and all things entertainment. I'm Gage. And I'm Harper. Let's get started. According to Strange News, on October 1st, an 104-year-old woman attempted to set the Guinness World Record for oldest skydiver. Dorothy Hoffner jumped from 13,500 feet in Chicago. The previous record was set by a, an 103-year-old woman. Dorothy started her passion for skydiving at 100 years old and was determined to beat the old world record. Unfortunately, she died in her sleep no more than a week after the record-breaking died. And just before, Guinness had verified as the record holder. I mean, verified her as the record holder. However, she has since been verified and will go down in history as the oldest skydiver, at least for now. In movie releases this week, Dark Haven. Dark Haven is about a girl who's trapped in an abandoned building but quickly finds out she isn't alone. There's a stranger. Determined to remain safe, Eleanor convinces the stranger to play emotionally brutal games for the limited amount of water and food. They both face hunger, the thirst, and certain death, who, if anyone, will survive. Dark Haven, Dark Haven, releasing on October 31st. In entertainment news this week, here we have our upcoming video game releases this month. Alien Hominid Invasion releasing on Xbox, Switch, and PC on November 1st. The Smurfs 2, Prisoner of the Green Stone, releasing on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC on November 2. Uh, what? RoboCop, releasing on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC on November 2nd as well. Halloween's today from 6 to 8.30, so here are six tips for, by the GMS News Group to s help stay safe while trick-or-treating. First, check your candy before eating it. Second, make sure the lights are on at any house you visit. Third, don't take candy that looks suspicious. Four, walk on sidewalks or on the side of the street. Five, bring glow sticks or something that's reflective. Six, go in groups or with an adult. That's all. I mean, that's all. Let's check out Caden with the history of trick or treating. Hey, I'm Caden. You all know Halloween's today. And that made me think, what is the history of trick-or-treating? According to 
history.com, trick-or-treating traces back as far as the Middle Ages with a custom known as mummying, or 16th century Scotland and Ireland, with a tradition known as guising. Mummying or guising is dressing up and disguising oneself, sometimes with clothing, a mask, or face paint, and putting on a small performance in exchange for rewards of food and treats. Trick-or-treating made its way to the United States in the mid-century in mid-19th century, when a large number of new immigrants, many of whom were escaping the Irish potato famine of the 1840s, helped popularize Halloween. When the Great Depression hit in the 1920s, pranks and vandalism became the active choice for our young people during Halloween. One theory is that this unruly behavior is what led to the more community-focused and organized trick-or-treating that started in the 1930s and continues today. Many of the original trick-or-treating costumes in the United States were terrifying, to say the least. We are talking legitimate nightmare fuel here. But as, pop, but as Halloween popularized, it became more kid-friendly, and kids started to participate. Today, Halloween became as popular as ever in a financial juggernaut, especially in the U.S. According to the National Retail Federation, Americans spend over 3.1 billion dollars on Halloween candy alone. That makes Halloween the nation's second largest commercial holiday next to, you guessed it, Christmas. That's all for the history of trick-or-treating. I'm Caden. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye. It's time for GMS Sports. Let's look at this week's home events for the week of October 30th. On Wednesday, November 1st, um, girls basketball for Speech Grove at 5.15 p.m. and 6th grade boys basketball tryouts at 5 p.m. On Thursday, November 2nd, 6th grade boys basketball tryouts at 5 p.m. That's all for the show. Have a happy Halloween.